Welcome back. Now it's the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time for us to reveal our mystery guest. So sit back, relax and enjoy our special Valentine's Day gift for you. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. Talking about my girl, my girl. I got so much honey, the bees envy me. I've got a sweeter song than the birds in the tree. I just want to say a very special Valentine's Day to everyone at home, especially my beautiful girlfriend, the GC, Gemma Collins. This one's for you, darling. Smile so much no, during the song. During performance, well done, you. Oh, I really enjoyed that. So, uh, <laughs> so that's uh, dedicated to the, to the GC. Absolutely, sir. <laughs> Valentine's Day. I want to dedicate that to my girlfriend and also everyone out there at home. Even if you're not got a partner, whatever. Um, that song's out there well, for you. Well, you are absolutely off the hook now because you've <laughs> done that for Valentine's Day. What have you got plans for later? Uh, well, she's going to be coming into London later and um, we've got a beautiful room booked up at the Dorchester. Oh, it's oh. her favourite hotel. Nice? Only the best for the GC. No, no, it's not a surprise. Oh, she, okay, that's, she demanded it. Do you, say. Do, you ever call, do you ever call her Gemma? Uh, yeah, of course, of course I do, yeah. <laughs> and course, uh, I do. and uh, did, she, did she pick a present for herself or did you pick one? Uh, she picked a, a few presents for herself, yeah. She's got a bag on <laughs> the way she's got a beautiful bunch of red roses a nice hotel room yeah you've got a which she picked. picked oh yeah she picked yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, so, did, did she know about this uh she did know about this yeah she's watching at home uh you know chilling out by the sofa and she's cheering us on so. are you glad to have her back home now absolutely don't get me wrong, it was nice, you know, having a bit of peace and quiet when she was away at rehearsals, but, <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, um, I'm proud of her. What she'd done on Dark and Ice, I thought she absolutely smashed it, and it was her time to leave, and now we can spend quality time together. Oh, she did very, very well, she? Didn't did, I'm she? very proud of her. You were worried her. about her going in, weren't you? I was worried about her. I just, I just, all I wanted to, you know, see her do was try her best and, and give it a roll, and I really felt she did that, and she was amazing entertainment. Week in, week out, there was always something to talk about. And um, I thought she was fantastic. What a great booking. Were there any? What a great booking. 
Precisely. Um, were there any moments where, when you were watching it, you, you know, went, oh, God. Oh, there was many moments, yeah. There was, um, you know, when she had the back and forth for Jason, like, I was rooting for her at the start, but then I was like, right, enough, oh, Gemma, no, like, so <laughs> zip, right, zip it. No, but it's fine, it all worked so out sweet. for the best. And obviously, when she had the fall, that was really tough because it really affected mm. her confidence and stuff. But the fact that she went straight back on the ice and mm. she continued, I'm really proud Soldier. of her. Well, um, her mum is a massive fan of Jason. Oh, no, that's really? what's no. And her mum agreed with everything that the, Jason said. The funniest thing about it is Jason can do no wrong in, in Gemma's mum's <laughs> eyes. So uh, it's hilarious because uh, Joan, she seems to agree with absolutely word for word what Jason says every time. So, oh, so she you can't can bring her mum for support. No, you can imagine how that <laughs> went for down. Um, so have we signed you up? <laughs> Do you know what? When Gemma left on Sunday, I was walking round and, and I was, and I'd all like the, is it Brandy and um, uh, a few of the other girls, Alex and stuff, and they were all like, oh, we're going to be your partner next year, we're going to be your partner. But I tell you what, in, in this time next year, hopefully I'll be, well, I will be, I'll be a year and a half sober. Yeah. I'm going to get seven stone off, I'm going to get fit and healthy. And if I do do dance on ice, I'm not just going to be a competitor, I'm going to be a contender to win it. Oh, I okay. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, wow. And we can show this, this back when we do next year. Well, oh, he will do that. <laughs> he will absolutely do that. No <laughs> question. Um, um, oh, that would be great. That would be amazing. Uh, one last question for you. You spoke last year and you said that maybe this year is the year that you might get down on one knee. <laughs> you never know. It's Valentine's Day. You've it... got the suite at the Dorchester, like you've said. <laughs> it is Valentine's Day, obviously. Uh, darts and ice has taken up all of our time and effort. Your but, fault. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's done now. But you know, that's done, it's out of the way. So yeah, you never know. Hopefully there'll be some um, some things for me and Gemma to look forward to this year. Let's oh, see how it well, goes. Yeah, nicely dodged. <laughs> nicely dodged. Mm -hmm. yeah, well done, mate. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. Look at really there you go. That. It's the Arch yes. Band. Yes. Come on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> how Thanks, did you guys. come up with the name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Genius. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, still to come, Vanessa Phelps answers your love life dilemmas right after the break.